briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1961, the Supreme Court scrutinized an intriguing case, Irvin v. Dowd, centered on the constitutional guarantee to a fair trial with impartial jurors. The focus was a petitioner, protesting his murder conviction and death sentence, presenting the argument that pervasive media coverage had tainted the community and stripped him of a fair trial. The petitioner's initial quest for a venue change was met with rejection, primarily due to a regulatory provision that could only facilitate one such change. The jury selection process further escalated the dispute as numerous potential jurors were dismissed due to prejudiced opinions, revealing an intensive community bias against the petitioner. Despite the clear obstacles, he forged on, seeking relief via habeas corpus in federal court and brought forth an alleged violation of his 14th Amendment rights. The district court, however, dismissed his case citing failure to exhaust state remedies, a decision that was later upheld on appeal. This chain of events paved the way to the Supreme Court, providing an opportunity to review and rule on this contested constitutional claim. The ruling rendered by the Supreme Court declared the petitioner's detention and subsequent death sentence as unconstitutional. A verdict hinged on a void judgment. Although he was not immediately liberated, his custody status shifted, allowing for a potential retrial under a different indictment. The final judgment remanded the case back to the district court, entrusting them to echo the Supreme Court's ruling in their future decisions and ensuring the state had a reasonable tenure to prepare for retrial. This verdict reinforced the importance of impartiality in ensuring justice for all citizens. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.